So there we go. I, I taught you now how to uh, create commands, how to um, you know create your <coughs> your code set per output, um, and then to do the clone one, which enables you to just go in and tweak a character here and there to make it appropriate for the new output, or to take what is essentially you know if you have a dozen commands per output, twelve times eight, ninety six, and convert it to three commands by using the parameters. And then you just need to watch the C3 videos, which will teach you how to uh, call those commands with parameters and to how, how to fill the values. So you can, you can drag your finger on a slider and see that it stops at 65. So we send the value 65 to fill the, uh, the parameter there. So with that said, that concludes C2 part three. And I hope you take that information and apply it to your application and you could just see the power of compass control coming to shape.